Well, Bishop City Hall has been closed. City Administrator Ron Phillips announced that due to the increase in positive COVID-19 cases and the start of the virtual school year, effective Thursday, August 20th, City Hall will be closed to the public until further notice. People are encouraged to contact City Hall by phone or email, and the city will make reasonable resources available to conduct essential city services remotely. Essential city services will continue, but in-person services at City Hall will be limited at this time. Should an in-person visit be necessary, please contact City Hall at 760-873-5864. Six, three, to make an appointment. Residents and businesses are encouraged to visit the city's website and to use online public services as much as possible. In addition to online services, the city will accommodate the lack of in-person services by staffing phone lines. The City of Bishop appreciates the public's patience during this very challenging time. Well, there was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake reported in Death Valley National Park. At approximately 10.32 the other morning, a reported 4.8 magnitude earthquake rattled Death Valley National Park. The earthquake's epicenter was approximately 35 kilometers, that's 21.7 miles, west of Stovepipe Wells, within the park boundaries in the Panamint Valley. Rangers in the Furnace Creek area reported feeling minor trembles. Shortly afterward, a 2.8 magnitude earthquake was reported in the same vicinity. In the early afternoon, another 2.5 magnitude earthquake was reported. There was no damage reported to the park buildings or roads, and crews are continuing to monitor for damage. More information on these seismic events can be found on the U.S. geological site, Earthquake Hazards. This week, Death Valley has experienced days of another natural phenomenon, extreme heat. On Sunday, August 17th, a temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded at Furnace Creek, and record-setting high temperatures have continued throughout the week. In fact, all well over 100 degrees. We have a letter to the community from Dr. James Richardson from the Inyo County Health Department. He is the health officer. He's been recently criticized in local media for a perceived lack of initiative in efforts to enforce the county health orders on wearing a face mask and social distancing in local businesses. With the recent closure of a local business through a court-ordered restraining order, two brothers from Italy, there should be little doubt now that Dr. Richardson and the County of Inyo are prepared to do what is necessary to help local businesses meet the health order guidelines, but they are also prepared to do what is necessary to those that do not comply. Their purpose, they say, is not to punish businesses, that are not in compliance, but when that fails, the county will act swiftly to shut that business activity down in the interest of the public's health, whether it's business employees, the residents, or shop or visitors to the area. Richardson explained that the enforcement process in Inyo County is not about punishing small businesses, but rather about seeking to support local businesses while also protecting the healthcare system and our residents and visitors. We'll be right back with more news and weather. 